welcome my friends to your introduction to yin yoga. Today's class is going to focus on calming the mind and going really deep into the glutes, lower back, the hamstrings and the hips. Yin yoga is a slow paced discipline of yoga which targets the deep connective tissues. Poses are typically held for 3 to 5 minutes. However, since today is an introduction, we're going to hold each pose for one minute. Today we're going to start at the back of our mats in Tadasana, mountain pose. Let's take a moment to free ourselves from tension or worries we may have. Inhale and exhale, bring the palms of the hands together in Anjali Mudra, prayer position. Today's practice is going to be very peaceful, moving and breathing with the intention of releasing stress, opening the heart and enriching our lives. Let the breath, its sound and rhythm guide you into a calm and peaceful state. Each breath will brush a feeling of calm, peace and relaxation. Inhale, let's bring the arms up to the sky. Exhale, fold halfway, bringing the fingertips to the mat or placing the hands above the knees. Very nice. Inhale, exhale, slide the hands down into a half fold. Inhale, slide the hands back up to the knees. Exhale, slide them back down. If you feel any tightness, bend the knees. Let's repeat. Inhale, bring the hands above the knees. Exhale, fold. What we're going to do next is bend the right leg while keeping the left leg straight and cross the right foot over the left foot. If you find this pose a little challenging and you can't reach the mat with the fingertips, use books or a low piece of furniture. Or keep both knees bent and you still feel the benefits from this pose. Bend the upper body from the hips, not the lumbar spine or the chest and shoulders. Pull your shoulders back to lengthen and protect the spine. We are going to release and do the same on the other side. Bend the left knee, keeping the right knee straight and cross left foot over right. Remember to keep your knees bent if you feel tightness. Please do not push or force anything, but you should feel a sensation in the back of the legs and side of the hips. Breathe deeply, allowing your body to release in this cross-legged Uttanasana pose. We're going deep into the connective tissues. Beautiful friends, uncross the legs, inhale, walk the hands to the top of the mat, exhale, push away with the hands into downward facing dog. Keep the knees bent and see if you can reach the heels as close to the ground as possible. Inhale, lift and bend the right leg. Exhale, take a big step forward placing the right foot between the hands. Inhale, bring yourself up, arms over your head. Exhale, bring the hands to the hips, finding our balance in this high lunge pose. Inhale. Exhale, hands back to the mat. Check that the knee does not go over the ankle. Feel the stretch in the left hip, the quadriceps and psoas muscle. Let's lower the back leg. As you exhale, push the hips back, straightening the right leg into a half split pose. You can grab the foot, stretching it to the left. An excellent stretch if you spend many hours in heels or on your feet. If you feel sharp electrical shooting pain, please bend the front leg. If it persists, come out of the pose altogether. For a smoother stretch, you can place both hands on the right hip. Breathe slowly and deeply. Inhale, exhale, bend the front leg, place the hands back on the mat. Inhale, curl the toes, lift the leg. Exhale, push into downward dog. Let's give those legs 
a little stretch by walking our dog, bending one knee at a time. Now let's do the same thing on the other side. Inhale and bend the left leg. Exhale, big step forward, placing your foot between your hands. Taking a moment to find our balance and making sure our front knee is directly above the ankle. Inhale, arms above the head. Exhale, hands to the hips. Bring the hands back to the mat, lower the back leg. Know that we are stretching, lengthening and relieving tension from the entire lower body, including the spine and the back. Inhale, exhale, push the hips back, straightening the left leg. Feel free to grab the foot with the opposite hand, stretching it to the right. Listen to what your body says. Inhale and exhale calmly. With each exhale, we are letting go of any tension in our body and mind. Inhale, bend the front leg, lift the right leg, exhale, push into downward dog. Beautiful, my friends, staying here in our dog, pushing away with our hands, lengthening the entire upper body, imbuing our lungs with oxygen. Inhale, raise the right leg, bend the knee, bringing it as close to the right thumb as possible. The back leg is directly along the center of the mat. Hips are square. The weight is evenly distributed. Repositioning yourself if you have to. No leaning towards one side or another. And if the hips are too high, you can use cushions. And you'll see how over time, the hips begin to release, they will naturally fall lower. This is our first yin pose, so I want you to stay present, bringing our attention back to our breath, feeling the flow in and out of our lungs. If your body allows it, come to the elbows. If not, stay where you are and make the choice of feeling supported and comfortable. We are making the choice of moving away from worriment and anxiety. So let it go. Don't let the mind distract you with thoughts about the past of the future. Stay in the present moment. If you are on the elbows, lift the body up by coming onto the hands. Curl the toes, lift the leg, stepping back into downward facing dog, lengthening through the spine and walking our dog. Perfect. As you inhale, lift the left leg, bending the knee and bring it as close to the left thumb as possible. Check that the back leg is along the center of the mat, hips remain square weight is evenly distributed. Feel free to reposition yourself at any point and of course welcome the use of cushions. Closing our eyes, allowing this pigeon pose to let go of any tension we might feel in the left glute. Finding a meditative state of mind as we bring our awareness to our heart, connecting with this powerful, loving, healing energy which lives within us. Coming on to the elbows, let's leave the past where it belongs and the future is yet to come. Simply be aware of this present moment of now.
Bring yourself up if you're on your elbows. Curl the toes, lift the leg, releasing into our dog again. Gently walking our dog and do whatever feels good right now. You can stretch, bend the knees, shake the legs. Wonderful friends. In your next inhale, lift the right leg, bending the knee, taking another big step to the lateral side of the mat. So the right foot is on the edge of the mat. Lower the back leg. Now let's gently press the right knee away from us, allowing it to release even further. The foot will automatically open, rolling onto its side, holding here for a few seconds. You can let go of the knee, bringing both hands on the mat. Feel the lengthening sensation through the hip flexor. If your body allows it, come onto the elbows. If you spend many hours in a seated position, this is an incredible pose for you. A sitting down tightens the hip flexors. With this pose, we're counterbalancing the effect by opening the hip flexors. Just breathe. Feel your body slowly releasing, surrendering. Slowly from here, let's release, lifting the back leg. Making sure we are grounded as we swing the front leg back into a plank, pressing away into our dog. Let's rotate the right ankle a few times to one side and the other side. You can flex and extend the leg, staying in our dog. We are going to repeat lizard pose on the other side. Inhale, lift the left leg, bend the knee, take a very big step to the edge of the mat. Let's drop the back knee, roll the pinky toe to the side of the mat. Gently pressing the leg away, allowing the knee to fall further. This is a deep hip opening pose, so listen to your body and only go as far as your body tells you. For a deeper stretch, come down to the elbows. Lizard pose is a very deep stretch for the psoas, the hips, pelvis and lower back. If you are more comfortable staying on the hand, that's absolutely fine. Yin yoga takes a lot of courage and patience. Increased flexibility in the connective tissues takes time and dedication. We only have one body so we must treat it lovingly. These deep opening poses may trigger emotions such as frustration and sadness. We keep a lot of emotions and feelings in the hips. If you feel any emotion arise, welcome it. Well done friends, let's bring the body back up. Finding our balance, curl the toes and when you're ready, step back into a high plank and then coming down onto our knees. Keeping the toes curled, let's sit back on our heels, stretching the soles of our feet. You can put the hands on the thighs or grab the heels if this feels good. We often take our feet for granted, but they do so much for us every single day. How about giving them some love and compassion? and thanking them for the support they give us. From here, let's uncurl the toes, open the knees wider than the hips, and come into a wide child pose by walking the hands forward. You may welcome a pillow to rest the upper body on. If you have sensitive knees, place a folded blanket underneath your knees. Closing our eyes, coming back to the idea of connecting to our hearts, to this powerful energy that is our heart. 
This energy is interconnected to the universe. Our hearts are interconnected to the universe, meaning the energy of the universe itself resides within us all. You hold the power as a divine being living a human experience, as a spiritual warrior to manifest your strength into the open, allowing you to conquer any challenges you may be presented with. In our next inhalation, we're going to slowly bring our body up. I am going to turn around so you can see me better, but you can stay right where you are. So come onto the glutes, bringing the soles of the feet together, grabbing the ankles or the toes with our hands. Inhale, think of lengthening the spine, growing tall. Exhale, lower the body forward. We can use the elbows to push the knees away from us, opening the hips even more. With every inhale, visualize you are breathing in from the bottom of the spine, the root chakra. Move the breath upwards, clearing blocked channels, exhaling through the mouth. By doing so, we are bringing energy into the body, and this positive energy flow calms our nervous system bringing an overall sense of relaxation in the body and mind. Inhale, from the bottom of the spine, the root chakra, moving the breath upwards, exhale through the mouth. Inhale, from the bottom of the spine, move the breath upwards, exhaling through the mouth. Perfect, just a couple more breaths. We're slowly bringing the upper body back up. Scoop yourself to about the middle of the mat, lowering the upper body all the way, feet planted on the mat. Let's lift into a bridge. Lift as high as you can, only keeping the shoulder blades and feet rooted on the ground. Tuck the tummy in to help with your balance, squeeze the glutes, a great pose for anyone suffering from bad posture. And so much is happening in this pose. We are opening through the shoulders, the chest. Make sure your breath is steep and steady. We're strengthening the lower body and the core. We're stimulating organs, the nervous system, creating more blood flow throughout our body. We're slowly bringing ourselves down one vertebrae at a time. Very nice, friends. Opening the arms out to the side at shoulder level. Let the knees gently fall away to the left, coming into a spinal twist. The shoulders should not come off the mat. If they do, bring the knees up a little. Use cushions to support the knees if they don't come all the way down and we can keep the head straight, looking up, or turn it to the right side, eyes closed. Let's release and take it to the other side. All we are doing is swinging the knees from left to right. Know that wherever we are in this pose, whether the knees are far from the ground or all the way down, our body is still receiving all the incredible benefits from this pose. Before we move on to the next pose, notice if there are any parts of the body which have not yet relaxed. As you notice them, bring a soft awareness to those areas inhaling deeply into that part and exhaling welcoming full relaxation okay friends 
Bring the knees back to center and into the chest. Feel a small pressure on the tummy area. And let's rock it from side to side, massaging the lumbar spine, the autonomic nervous system. The system responsible for many functions that we not think about. And when you are ready, extend both legs out. Arms along the side of the body, palms facing up. Our final pose, Shavasana. Here, invite complete relaxation of the body. Invite peace, serenity. Tune in with how calm your physical body is right now. Allow your body to feel heavy, slowly melting into the ground. Surrender and let go. Let go of everything. You are not your body, not your mind. You are a divine being living a human experience. One with the universe. For the next few minutes, go within and make the conscious choice of letting go, allowing space for new beginnings. Go deep within, don't be afraid. You are safe and allow your inner strength and guidance to show you the way. Bring your attention back to the rhythm of your breath. Feel how your body feels right now. 
compared to the beginning of this yin yoga practice. Through our various yin poses, we have released tension out of our bodies, out of our system. And when we come home to who we are, we're beginning to experience life in a more holistic way. So let go of everything which is not intended for your highest good. Bringing our awareness back to the present moment. Let's slowly bring movement to our bodies. Gently open the eyes and close the eyes again. Repeating this a few more times. And when you are ready, roll over to one side into a fetal position and meet me in a seated position in the center of the mat. Inhale, lifting the arms all the way to the sky, bringing the palms of the hands together in Anjali Mudra. Exhale, hands to the third eye and affirm to yourself, I trust my intuition. Bring the hands to the throat and affirm, I speak my truth. And to the heart and affirm, I accept myself as I am. Let's do this one more time. This time bring your hands straight to the heart and bowing down to your heart, thanking yourself for your beautiful practice, remembering that no matter how dark the cloud above our head is, just like the one dark menacing cloud above my head, we hold the power to change our lives and the way we feel. Namaste. Thank you so much for joining me today for this yin yoga practice. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up or write a comment below. I look forward to seeing you again soon.